Continuing our discussion of how to understand and analyze schematics. We started over here in the previous video. We were up to this point. This is now a yellow wire from the ignition switch in, auto, in automotive. It becomes a yellow black after the other side of the switch of the fuse, 7.5 amps. This is a module. How do I know it's a module? Because there's so many connections to it. See? Daytime running lights, control unit. That means when you turn on the car, the lights go on automatic. Sometimes it goes on all the time. Sometimes this, this module will control it. When it's dark, it'll put the headlights on by a photo sensor. Sometimes it, if, if it's light outside, it'll turn it off. It's called a module. So one side of this goes to one side of this module, this, this connector. Let's follow the other one. We were talking about the other one. Number 48 fuse. Now this becomes a white wire. Now we have a lot of choices to go. There's a connection here. There's a connection here. That means we can go either here. We can go over here. Or we can go here. Let's go this way. So the white wire goes over here, stays white. Goes to another fuse at rated at 10 amps. One side of the fuse is here. See this? Again, under the hood, this fuses. As I just was saying before, there's another fuse box under the dashboard usually. This is under the hood. All of this. You see this by the solid lines. These are all fuses. Again, white, 10 amps. Now, this wire on the other side of this fuse becomes black and white. Went from white to black and white with a white stripe. Again, it goes to this module. One pin, one connector, connection of this module. Then, as you see over here, red green wire comes out. Parking a brake switch. And it even tells you close when the lever is up. See, this is, it's like a push. When you push it, the symbol is. It goes to ground. This also goes to ground by a, through a black wire. And there are locations in the diagrams to show you where these specific points are. G401, G402. It gives you where these points are uh, for ground. Continuing on the other path. This one. What did we say? We compared it. Here's this. Here's the symbol. Gang switch. That's what I was referring to. Here's the gang switch. As you see over here, when this moves, this moves, this moves. Therefore, as I did in this position, when I, this is the original position at rest, when I activate it, now it went to the center. That means this went to the center. This means this went to the center. This is what the dotted line means. They all move together simultaneously. When I move the switch from rest, this position, I can move it to this position, the outer one. That means this will go to the outer one. That means this will go to the outer one. They all move together. Right now, before you do anything, it's always in this position at rest. When you move it, it could be either in this position or in this position. But all of them go at one time. Therefore, it will go over here for headlamps. And this is for high beam. Okay. White goes to white. To this side of the switch. And then this is, is the control for the, for the lamps. <coughs> for the lamps. <coughs> the switches is for the dimmer inside. Sometimes you want to make it uh, 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 the intensity lower. Sometimes you want to make it higher. So one side of this switch goes to the dimmer. Other side of it goes to a red-white wire. Now, white goes here. This goes to the connector. See this? Light switch, like a module. Denoted by all this black border out here. And the pins are B2, B6, B1 over here, B4. B3, these are the pins. The layout for the pins. So therefore, all this will contain in a module, let's say. 
in a switch, in a switch. Okay, so we're here, we're here. You could go any path that you want. Like I said, if you take this path, coming out from here, we went in with a white wire to this switch, came out a red wire, there's no connection here. If there is no dot, that means these two are not connected. <clears throat> that means these two are not connected. That means these two are not connected. So therefore, we go from red, not con no connection here, no connection here, no connection here, connection connected, again, this module. Over here, same thing. Now it's a red-green wire with a green stripe. No connection here. We don't see no black dot. Here it is connected. Again, we go to two fuses. And this is connected to another part on a, of a schematic, denoted by these triangles, as we discussed before. Again, red-green becomes one side of the fuse. The other side of the fuse goes to red-black. Other side of the fuse, red-black which goes to dash lights and brightness controller, and this will go to parking lights and the other things. We come over here. Again, more fuses. The pin of B3, it becomes red-white wire. It goes to two fuses. The other side of this fuse, red-yellow, goes to, right here, a filament, 55 watts, which is the headlight. About the bulb for low intensity. For high intensity, you have this. You go this way. If you want to know high intensity. Okay? So right here, low, low are connected together. One headlamp here for the right. One headlamp here for the left. So these two are common right here. These two, if you want high beam, you go right here. Number four and number five are the high beam. As you know, number 22 and number 21 are for the low beam, left and right. And they all go to ground through a black wire. Okay? And over here, you also have, it goes to high beam indicator light. More like an LED almost. To tell you, you have the high beams are on. Okay, so it, 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 it takes some practice, some dedication. First and foremost, always, always, always get familiar with the symbols. Remember the symbols. Remember the symbols. These are always, uh, always come out because always fuses in automotive. Uh, bulbs always come out in automotive. The connections always. Modules in automotive. Switches in automotive. These things you have to know. Ignition switch, you have to know. So therefore, I hope this was helpful. I'd like to see you in the next, uh, uh, next video. Like I said, my channel is Automotive Schematic by Joseph. Please, if you want to subscribe, um, I, I, I would highly appreciate it very, very much. Thanks for watching, then. Enjoy.